Hello, everyone. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank uh, Radiology Education for inviting me to give this uh, presentation for uh, this, uh, this course in, in China. It's an honor to be here. And uh, my, my goal, my presentation uh, for today will be uh, about the integrase inhibitors as a unique mechanism of action. So uh, this is my disclosure, and uh, for the next 20 minutes, I would like to follow this agenda that you can see here. Uh, uh, I would like to make an introduction about uh, why are we in the area of the integrase inhibitor. Um, everything is, is uh, uh, with regard to antiretroviral therapy is uh, related with integrase inhibitor. If the anchor of the uh, most of the preference and antiretroviral therapy for uh, uh, first-line therapy. So I, I would like to, to uh, go over that, uh, that uh, concept with you. And then when we move to the uh, integration uh, as part of the, of the uh, uh, cycle, uh, HIV cycle life, uh, we will uh, review the, um, in more detail the strand transfer reaction. Uh, then we will see what is the mechanism of the different uh, uh, integrase inhibitor, see what the difference among them to end up with uh, some conclusion. So why are we in the area of the integrase inhibitor? Why uh, the integrase inhibitor are present in all the uh, recommended first light anti antiretroviral uh, therapy? That's pretty clear, and uh, the integrase inhibitor have shown to be the most important antiretroviral drugs with a higher rate of uh, uh, biological suppression in, in randomized clinical trials. Uh, has a very good, uh, uh, the second generation, of course, the, a very good uh, barrier to resistance with a good tolerance and a good. Uh, side effect profile, drug drug interaction, and a very convenient uh, dose. For all of these reasons, uh, we are living now in the area of the integrase uh, inhibitor. Are they the most important drugs? Uh, I think so. And uh, as you can see here, in, in this phase two A trials from three of the of the integrase inhibitor we have uh, avail available right now, that is raltegravir, albitegravir, dolutegravir. And uh, you can see in these in this graphs uh, the decay of the viral load in seven, 10 days in monotherapy. That is the way we, we used to, to see the antiviral potency of uh, one drug. 10 days is not enough for developing resistance and uh, give us a very interesting information about the potency according to the decay of the, of the, of the viral load in this short period of time. Uh, so that uh, if we compare this, uh, this uh, drop, this decre the, uh, drop of the viral load in this short period of time, uh, you can see here, this is too lot to decay and the integrase uh, inhibitor has the, the, the most potent uh, uh, response or decay, uh, most uh, uh, intense decay of the viral load in this seven to uh, 10 days. So they are really potent. Another uh, uh, future than uh, uh, um, uh, insist in, in this potency of the drug is what you can see here. Uh, this is similar. This is a clinical trial that compare dolutegravir with uh, efavirenz in, in, in initial therapy, and uh, uh, this graph, these uh, two curves, represent what is the percentage of patients who achieve the undetectable viral load over the time. As, as, and you can see, it's very clear that with dolutegravir, uh, it's, it's faster the achieve of the achievement of the undetectable viral load for, for patients. So that it's another data about the, the, the potency of the, of the, of the uh, integrase inhibitor. So uh, the other uh, feature that adorn the, the integrase inhibitor that uh, it's the excellent tolerance and uh, is, this is a representation of the, uh, uh, of the 
population that uh, that uh, stop that uh, um, interrupt the the treatment uh, due to the uh, drug related side effects and uh, these are the many different trials that compare different regimens as as you can see here in green we have the 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 rate of decontinuation, discontinuations due to the side effects. And you can see here that it's lower than uh, with, uh, in blue, uh, a, a protease inhibitor, the Lunavir, or in red, uh, uh, NNRTI. So I think that uh, all of these uh, future uh, explain why the integrase inhibitor are uh, the most uh, uh, recommended drug for, for, for uh, treatment. So. There is any doubt that we are living in the area of the integrase inhibitor for many uh, uh, reasons. So now let's let's move to the to the uh, to the uh, integration process, and uh, I would like to start first uh, uh, going over the 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 uh, HIV life cycle. Um, in the in their different uh, in its different steps, uh, as as all of you know, first there is the virus has to go into the cytoplasm, then the the uh, when uncoat the capsid, uh, the RNA is in the in the cytoplasm, uh, the through the retrotranscript retro the RNA is converted to DNA. Uh, this DNA has to go into the nucleus to be integrated in the host chromosome, and then after the transcription, translation, and different uh, steps of maturation of the virus, we will have the, the new viron. So uh, the, the, uh, the uh, integration of the, of the virus in, in, in the uh, host chromosome, it's a very, it's a very critical uh, uh, step from the HIV life cycle. It's, uh, th this integration is critical in the replication of the, this kind of virus, the retrovirus. It's an essential uh, um, step uh, of process in the HIV life cycle. It's important to point out that it's a point of no return. That means that when the uh, DNA is integrated in the chromosome of the cell, that it will be stay there for all the uh, cell life. So that uh, implies that due to that we have, there are um, cells with a very long half life. Uh, uh, this is the, the, the barrier to the, to the cure of the HIV. So uh, the integration is a very important process, is a very important step in the uh, HIV life uh, cycle. So. So this is a very simple uh, um, schema about uh, how is the integration process. It's, uh, as I said, it's a, it's a multi-step process. Uh, first, uh, the, the DNA has to bind to the, uh, to the, um, to the integrase. Uh, then the, integrate, the, the DNA have to go into the nucleus, but, but to finally uh, enter, insert in the, in the uh, host chromosome. In, in very uh, short uh, uh, um, expression or short uh, sentences, we can say that the, uh, the different catalytic steps are the formation of the pre-integration pre uh, complex then the virus ha has to enter to migrate into the nucleus, but finally through the uh, st trans transfer reactions, uh, uh, insert uh, this uh, DNA into the host uh, uh, chromosome. This is a very simple uh, uh, schema, but uh, it's very, uh, very representative of uh, this process. In a simple word, the, the integrase I has to take the hand of the DNA, take it into the nucleus, and they're insert into the host chromosome. That is the, the, the process of the uh, integration. On, and uh, what is uh, leading, what is uh, the directing the, the, all these process? So it's the, the integrase enzyme. The integrase enzyme is encoded by the, the integrase gene. 
Uh, here you can see the, the gene of or the whole gene of the HIV, and in one of the uh, non-structural genes that it's poor, it's included the, the, the genes that uh, encode the three most important uh, enzymes in the HIV cycle life, that is the uh, RT, the protease and the uh, integrase. If, if we go more in detail uh, through the integrase uh, gene, well, there are three different domains in this enzyme. Uh, two terminal domains. One is the uh, N terminal domains that uh, it's uh, it's from the amino acid one to the 15, the 15 first amino acids. It's linked. It needs to be binded to the zinc, and uh, it promotes the tetramer uh, formation that is the active form the, of the uh, integrase. The C terminal domains that it's from the 212 amino acid to the end. Uh, it's in terms of binding to the DNA and uh, uh, the most, uh, uh, the catalytic, uh, the active site of this uh, uh, enzyme, it's, it's encoded by the catalytic core domain. Uh, in, this, uh, in this domain, there are, there are three, uh, a triad of three amino acids in this position, 64, 116, and 142. And uh, that are very important for uh, the, the, the link to the uh, magnesium uh, uh, cation that it's, it's extremely important for, for the active process of the integrase inhibitor. So when it's uh, encoded, this, this gene, uh, it's, uh, what you can see here is the, the three-dimensional uh, structure of the uh, integrase that in most cases it's in form of dimer, but sometimes could be in form of monomer and tetramer as well. In its, uh, uh, just to point out that in its uh, uh, virus, there is from 40 to 100 uh, integrase into, into the virus. Uh, so this enzyme catalyzes uh, uh, the, uh, the multi-step uh, that, uh, the multi steps of the integration process. The first step, that's, let's go to, to, to see more in detail the different uh, process of the integrase. The first step is the, the uh, three prime processing. That means that uh, this is a process in which the, the uh, uh, integrase has to remove two amino acids from the three terminal strands uh, of the DNA. Uh, and uh, link binds it to, to create a sticky end that will be necessary to uh, stabilize the covalent union to the uh, uh, host chromosome. This, uh, this, uh, this is the pre-integration complex. This is called the pre-integration complex, the union of the integrase to the viral DNA. This is Integration complex has to go into the nucleus, and uh, it will do that through the pore of the membrane of the nucleus. Once it's inside the, the nucleus, uh, it has to bind to, to one the, uh, host uh, protein, what is the lens epithelium derived growth factor uh, that is needed because this protein uh, will, uh, will work uh, as a bridge to to uh, to uh, fix to bind to the to the uh, host chromosome, and uh, the end the last uh, step in this process of integration. Once the DNA, the HIV DNA, has been integrated into the host chromosome, will be the repair of uh, this part of the of the uh, host uh, chromosome. So these are the different steps that we can see in the integrase, uh, integration process. And uh, it's interesting to point out that uh, we have, uh, it could be different uh, potential targets from the uh, drug intervention. Uh, right now we have drugs that acts through the strand transfer process. That is one of the steps of the integration. But uh, there are, we could have uh, we have been working and we are working in, in drug that can uh, act at the different levels of, at the, to avoid to, uh, the pre-integration complex uh, and uh, 
to to act against these these proteins, host protein, host protein that, uh, as as I told you, it's it's important to create a bridge for the strand transfer, final strand transfer reaction. Uh, in more in more um, schematic ways, uh, the 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 movement from the HIV DNA to provider DNA is what you can see uh, here. There is a trans esterification reaction that is when when the two GT TG amino acids of the N of three prime uh, strand DNA uh, uh, it's it's removed to be linked to the to the integrase gene, and uh, then there, this this uh, integrase uh, bind to the to the uh, whole, um, viral DNA has to attack the the host chromosome through uh, um, uh, to be linked to them, and then finally the, the, that will stabilize the covalent insertion of the this viral DNA to the host chromosome. It's again an a schematic. Uh, um, uh, picture of the of all this process uh, of the integration, uh, looking at the uh, HIV uh, DNA. So uh, to to um, the drug we have to uh, to uh, in inhibit this process of integration is the integrase inhibitor, as uh, we show in the in the previous in a previous picture. And right now, we only have drugs that act against these steps of strand transfers. We don't have drugs uh, uh, who act against these uh, uh, host proteins or pre-integration complex formation. So the only drugs we have act against this inhibition of a strand transfer. Uh, these these um, um, drugs. Uh, has three different uh, uh, moieties. Uh, one of them is is uh, this uh, uh, um, um, chelating uh, motif that is represented here. That is bound to the magnesium. Uh, there is an, another uh, uh, region that is represented here. At the C is, this is an aromatic group, and then we will see how they works in, in, in to inhibit the, the integrase. Uh, and there is a flexible linker that, uh, that uh, link these two parts of the uh, integrase inhibitor. So this is the an schema about the, the two metal bindings pharmacophore model of uh, integrase inhibitor. Uh, now you can see here the different integrase inhibitors and the different uh, um, motifs that uh, they have. Um, in, in, in violet, uh, as you can see the hydrophobic benzyl moieties, then we will see what is the way they, they work. Uh, is different in the different uh, integrase inhibitors. Um, and you can see here the different uh, latent triadats that uh, that links uh, to the magnesiums uh, to to inhibit the, the the integrase are different as well according to the different uh, integrase inhibitors and how they work. Let's go to see more in detail. In gray, you can see what is the the integrase. And uh, as uh, we explained previously, uh, we see previous, we saw previously um, there is two magnesium that it's uh, critical for the uh, covalent link, covalent bind to the to the integrase. Uh, and uh, the 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 here you can see the chelating and the schema of the chelating triadat of uh, three amino acids that it's. Uh, has to be linked to the to the magnesiums, and uh, this is the uh, the hydrophobic benzyl moiety that is linked to uh, an hydrophobic pocket that is close to the catalytic size. So that is the way where, uh, how the the integrase inhibitors act uh, to to uh, be linked to the integrase uh, enzyme. So here in more detail, you can see uh, the same that we showed previously. So this is the, the, the uh, chelating motif in, in violet. 
that it's uh, linked to the to the to the uh, interface uh, and sign. Uh, there is the the link that uh, adds to the to the uh, aromatic group that has to be linked to uh, to the enzyme and displays to the uh, DNA. Uh, HIV DNA from from uh, the enzyme. So what uh, what happened finally is that uh, the integrase binds to the active site to the to the magnesium ions uh, ions that is what you can see here and that improve the function of uh, this enzyme. And what happens when when the integrase uh, inhibitors links to the to the integrase? That blocks the trans transfer of the HIV DNA. That is what uh, you can see here. Uh, when it's blocked, what happened with the DNA? Uh, there is a deturn of the DNA through the end uh, life of this uh, DNA through degradation and recombination and repair. So this is the DNA that is going to the end of uh, its life. So this is what uh, happened. And in, in a, in a three-dimensional way, you can see here uh, the, the, the um, integrase with the catalytic triad. What happened with the integrase inhibitors, it's bind to the catalytic triad. And uh, what happened in that case is that uh, uh, avoid the action of the of the integrase. So this is another uh, another uh, schema about how acts the the integrase inhibitors. It binds to the to the to the um, um, to the uh, integrase uh, uh, DNA complex. And uh, avoid to fixed to be bind to the to the uh, host chromosome. There are differences between the different integrase inhibitor. Of course, there are some differences between them that are uh, driven by the, the different chelating motif structure uh, and the uh, aromatic groups that you see here. And these differences uh, uh, re uh, are represented in in. In, in two different uh, aspects, uh, that is the the association uh, half life to the to the integrase that is different according to the different integrase inhibitor. As you can see, I can see here uh, the the half life association to the uh, to the integrase com DNA complex is longer with bictegravir than uh, and and dolutegravir to the uh, different to the first generation uh, integrase inhibitor, the dissociation the half-life, it's also longer in uh, with bictegravir and dolutegravir, and um, that is represented here in, in, in uh, wild-type uh, integrase DNA complex, as well in, in, a, compl in, in a virus with uh, 140, 140 uh, mutation. So as a conclusion, I would like to show you all the process in a dynamic way of the, of the integration. Uh, and that is what uh, would happen. We repeat, the, uh, it's, it's, it's formed the pre-integration complex. It's go into the nucleus and uh, uh, it's uh, inhibited a strand transfer and uh, in that way control the, the the uh, stop the uh, HIV uh, life cycle. So thank you so much for uh, your uh, attention and uh, have a very good day. Thank you so much.